Hey. Hello. Hey, good morning. <laughs> yeah, morning. I know. I know it's super early for you. <laughs> yeah, it's super early for someone like yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so no. much for waking up though and doing this. <laughs> That's right. I'm glad it worked out. I was un we were both unsure that it was if it was going to work. So yeah, I've <laughs> never done are. this before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to tell you a little bit of what I'm doing tonight. So here in Chile, it's six p.m. I mean New York. I'm in New York now, and I'm just gonna do like a vinyl night, and I'm gonna present your album. I'm gonna play it. So I have it here. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and um yeah, I just wanted to know how are you today? I know it's early. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah, all right. Cool. Yeah, so I wanted to do some brief questions because I know you're busy. So um, the oh, first good. one would be um can you introduce yourself to everybody here and tell us about the Merlocks a bit? G'day, it's Ambrose. <laughs> Benny oh, your fan. Um, playing such bands as King Gizzard and the Liz Wiz, um, and the Murlocs. Both both have been doing now. I started the Murlocs end of 2010, so it's pretty scary how long that's been going for. And and cool that we're still all good mates. And then I joined Gizzard maybe like six months later. I can't really remember. I've been playing like. I've been playing one of our second or third shows as the Murlocs and Stu and all the Gizzard guys are all like already close friends of mine through other mutual bands mm -hmm. and then and watched us during the day in some park in Geelong and then then in the evening I went and watched them. I remember standing there watching King Gizzard when it was like 10 people or something on stage and I was like that that's that's the band I want to play harmonica in and then wow. the And then the next week, Stu, um, luckily enough, messaged me to come play. And then I just never left. I just kept rocking up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, that's amazing. Like, it's amazing that you guys are all, you know, friends. And I bet it's really easy to work, you know, in that environment because you know each other. And so <laughs> I'm going to, you know, play your record today. Um, how did this album come about? Like how, you know, and why is it called Manic Canning Episode? Like, is there like a story behind that? Um, there's a bit of a story behind it. I guess I'm a bit of a stress head. So, yeah, I don't know, all the guys, especially in Gizzard and all both bands are all just so chill and just go with the flow. But I guess I just like overthink everything all the time. I guess I'm just that one, um... Yeah, that one stress head conscious in everyone's minds. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I guess it's just reflective of, like, little freak out episodes I'll have. Nothing, like, nothing too um, crazy. That's why I guess it's candid. So it's all just yeah. sort of little just pass out moments. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. I like the name. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of – I've always struggled to come up with names that aren't song titles for an album. So that one, yeah, I liked it and just seemed to stick. Yeah, and it really stands out. I, I This album, when I heard it, uh, I was, like, from the start to the ending, is really it's really good. And I know I've heard your other albums, which are good too, but, yeah, it's really nice. And so, you know what? So I love the artwork too. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I just, I work. yeah so. like I just want to know like the process behind that because I did read that um, a lot of you a lot of people collaborated in this and and I don't know if you have like an item in particular that's your favorite because there's a lot of things going on here yeah <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> I don't know well it was sort of like me and Ben Jones who works for Flightless sort of came up with the idea to do something like a piece and then we'll take a photo of it. Um, mm. And, yeah, I, I was at that period, that was like just as I'd, I'd fractured my knee, like uh. skateboarding. So I was doing a lot of 
painting and like drawing and stuff as well as music. So I just, um, yeah, I was just doing lots of doodles and stuff. And then I ended up, he was just like, yeah, just keep doing that. So all the stuff in the background is like, uh, it's all just like, yeah, all the stuff behind the little things, all the black and black and white drawings, those are all mine. And then there's, yeah. but then there's a bunch of different ones, like the, the face and stuff at the bottom and the, um, uh, other things like that is like wall stuff Benny's drawn and and then like there's like the one thing Cook <laughs> contributed is this bong here on the, the side that says rest in peace loopholes. <laughs> oh yeah, like, that's what I wanted to ask you. Like I saw that, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, big stoner phase back then, but um yeah, and then there's all different other things up here. There's a chicken somewhere that Cal's drawn and yeah. <laughs> yeah bag and then there's all these different platforms where we and then that um that guy with his head like turned back back yes yeah. um sam uh farrell i think her name is um in melbourne she does sculptures and stuff so we bought that off her and then the rest are just random bits of things that benny had found from home and stuff like yeah and then he then he just ended up putting in you know, that the 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 cloud title in the end yeah, it's really nice. And especially when you open this, I see that's you, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... <laughs> that, mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, that's interesting too. Cause like you just like open, it's like you're watching all of this happening and, and like, yeah. 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 I think it's cool. I like it. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. And it's very unique too. Like all this like little collage here is really nice. Um, so when you did this album, was there any like musical influence like you guys were listening to that you, you know, you're like, oh, this is really good. I want to do this in the album, not the same, but, you know, was there anything you were listening to at the time with the guys or? Um, not particularly. The Merlox is a bit of a, um, we're sort of so spread out because me and Cook are so busy with Gizzard a lot of the time. We kind of just write whatever comes to us. Um, and then sort of bring it to the table. Like my favorite song is probably "What If," which is written by um, Matt Blanche, the drummer. So he made the demo himself, and then I just wrote the lyrics um, and put the harmonica and whatever on it. But like, um, yeah, we sort of like a lot of the time like that. Other than, uh, yeah, I think also like I reckon "Comfort Zone" is still my most favorite achievement yet. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so that was just like one of those songs were just real basic and I just was just singing it and just the melody just came straight away. And I remember the first time we jammed, I was like, this is the music I want to make. Like this is, you know, that was like little song, a song like that. It probably will be one of those songs for, I don't know how long, hopefully I can achieve it again. But one of those songs that's just so simple yet just so nice and I don't know. I was, that's like my favorite kind of music, just the real sort of simplistic sort of 60s ballad sort of stuff, um, which is, I feel like is just also the hardest to make. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's a very, yeah, What If is a really good song and the video, I got to mention that you, <laughs> that I saw the video of is really, really crazy, <laughs> really nice. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, John so like, the, like, all right, here, here's a bottle of vodka, let's go. And I just, <laughs> just, yeah, just went all of it. <laughs> yeah, that was the second take. I think we did three. By the third one, I was like passing out. So, <laughs> oh my God. you survived though. That's, that's yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like, um, you know, this magazine is from Chile, and I interviewed you last year. Uh, which thanks for that. <laughs> um, would you ever consider playing there, like in South America? Because like over here, like there's a lot of people writing right now. I know it's from everywhere, but you have a really nice fan base in Latin America and all over there. And yeah. you know, yeah, it's just something you when it could happen. You know, would you oh, like to? Yeah, um, I think the dream is just to probably just come with Gizzard or something one day. Like, we're, Gizzard's been meaning to come for ages. So as soon as it's possible to do so, um, I'm definitely going to just try and get Melox to come too because, yeah, I guess those areas, like, 
we wouldn't have to it wouldn't be too grueling and intense for me because um yeah my body ain't what she used to be i would have to like <laughs> actually start doing some exercise if I was to <laughs> die. Okay. But, yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah that, that'd be the dream for sure yeah it's amazing i did you the interview last year and everybody a lot of people just respond in really good things there's a huge fan base over there that's really crazy so do you know any spanish words you can say now anything in particular like if you know something oh <laughs> i remember learning a bunch just while i'm there like oh, just googling stuff but it's been so long i don't know i'm too scared i don't want to like pronounce things wrong so i don't want to <laughs> no go ahead everybody's anxious to see <laughs> 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 um, cool. Last in interview I did recently, I was just like, uh, muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We, we needed that. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Shit. yeah, so, you know, I like you said to me, you I know you get, you have to leave soon. So, Buenas like, I, I, huh? Someone said, bu hey, buenos dias. Yeah, buenos dias. <laughs> yeah. On the spot, so I, I'm very That's slow. Fun. It's okay. Um, do you have any new projects coming up? Because I saw you change your feed. There's a lot of like new photos and new stuff. If you can yeah. say something. Um. Yeah. Well, we got some real exciting news coming on Tuesday. On or well, just Tuesday here for us. It's the twentieth of April. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that because I'm real excited for that. I've been working really hard on all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, I'm really pumped for everyone to see what we're about to drop on the 20th of April. Yeah. yeah. It's about what I want to give away because it's been um, yeah. a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I even saw the loopholes um, you're going to um... – the vinyl is coming too. I, I saw uh, you posted yeah. something. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I'm looking yeah, forward. Want... I think that was the first album I, or even before I, I heard of you guys, which is, I'm excited for it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pumped for the um the first two EPs to be on vinyl because um yeah, it's just something I've always wanted to do as well. And yeah, we like. I saw some people saying that they thought that loopholes was, um, like we lost the masters or something, but that, that's not true. But the, it's all sounds great to me. I've listened to the test pressings, and yeah, I really can't wait. Especially, um, you know, we've been jamming because we've got a couple of shows coming up here in Australia. I mean, we 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 started jamming some of the old songs like recently, and I think we peaked at Step and Stagger. To be honest, <laughs> we played that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there's a few few other things, but yeah, I can see some people asking about loopholes and stuff. It was lost the original the story is I think people got their wires crossed that the story was that we'd lost the recordings as we were recorded like Stu's um had his laptop stolen from his car one day after the album was like three quarters mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. There's disguise because i remember hating a lot of the takes anyway um so we end up redoing it all and then that's yeah that's what turned into the actual outcome of loopholes so yeah yeah mm. loopholes is amazing even the videos i was going to mention you like for loopholes like uh i know uh jason i don't know how to say his last name go <laughs> i don't want to mess it up well, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah i know that's a re i that's really really good one and yeah, I was going to mention you, your last question, like, tell tell us a little bit about, you know, the videos, like, how is the process when you make them with the band you contribute, or how, how is it, though? Like, um, yeah, um, I think a lot of the time I have a pretty clear view on what I want to do, mm -hmm. and I get pretty invested into it. Like, I, I was like, as soon as we finish an album, I start sending it to people I want to work with for the video clips and and kind of like all the time my ideas are pretty literal, literal I guess. And um, 
yeah, but then I, I always give pretty free reign to the directors or whoever's involved, whatever they want to make out of it as well. Um, yeah, and a lot of the time, you know, do work with directors that just completely just take it in a whole nother direction. And then some others, you know, let, kind of let me like have a bit of control. Like that. But then a lot of the time I like just getting other like um, girlfriends involved to do my makeup or like, you know, <laughs> I get great. Yeah, I have a lot of passion for like how things should look as well. Like I know um, I've had a bit more free reign in that with Gizzard and stuff lately too, like the Straws in the Wind clip and other stuff like that. But mm. yeah, with the Murlocs, I always, yeah, the guys have let me like, let them, me like dress them up and stuff, which is fun. <laughs> like last yeah. week. Like, <laughs> and we like kind of looked like a ghetto wiggles on the, on the manic. <laughs> episode one um but yeah I'm, I'm trying to like scrounge together some new outfits for um yeah what's coming next but um see, we'll see what happens see how see what i can get together it's you sort of run out quickly though i reckon and then it's but i think it's just fun it's fun to like i think it for me it's good to get into an outfit it sort of helps you like um turn into the character as well that you're trying to trying to go for that's um yeah makes you just sort of embrace it yeah even like when you your live performance too i do you think of like how you guys want to you know be dressed because i've seen some clips you know you sometimes like i saw this live uh you did you were all in, in, in white and the other ones were all in black like do you sometimes too when you're in live like when you perform live do you have like a like a costume like oh what i'm gonna wear or Stuff like that. Um, yeah, yes or and no. I, <laughs> is, I've been taken to a girlfriend of mine, Avril Fawn, who's been helping me. Well, she helped me do the jacket for Manic Candid last time. And then Benny, um, Ben Jones organized all the patches and stuff. And we, and then, because um, they're all things from the artwork. And then we got them from the jacket and stuff. Um, I had some pants as well. I had some St. Cloud blue pants and I took them. <laughs> Time to try them on properly, and then when we got to LA, I got to the hotel and I put them on. And I went into Cal Shorter's room of Murlocs like, and put them on. And I was like, "Check it out!" And then like, <laughs> and my pants like the Lenny Travis in a little hole, just like split in my crotch. And I just went, oh my god! Pants. <laughs> so yeah, almost cool blue pants to go with it, but um, that didn't work out as planned. <laughs> oh my god well things happen <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah i just want to thank you for this i know like i said you're busy and now i'm gonna play your uh you know the album and i hope people really enjoy this night because it's the first time doing this so i just want to say thank you for your time because i know waking up early <laughs> having no. the time to do it but my, my schedule changed a little bit anyway, so I'll stick around for another minute or two or whatever, but yeah. Cool. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it because I'm going to put some visuals on and yeah, I hope people really enjoy it and I hope to see you guys live soon because <laughs> I'm in uh, New York now, but yeah. Sick. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks bye. Andy. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't know how to. See ya. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs>